Greetings! It's Maxo Diddley. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can copy text from view only Google spreadsheets that have multiple sheets. Let's get right into it. So I've done tutorials in the past where you can copy data from Google spreadsheets. However, in most of those tutorials, you could only copy the data from one or two sheets in the spreadsheet. Meaning if your Google spreadsheet has, let's say 10 sheets, you could only copy data from the first and second ones. And this is a problem if you want to copy data from bigger spreadsheets with multiple sheets. And today I'm going to be showing you how you can do that really easily. So we're gonna go right into it. And the first step is you need to open up the view only Google spreadsheet that's protected so you can't copy. And once you do that, you want to go up to the URL of the spreadsheet. And notice how it's got edit followed by some characters at the end. What you want to do is you want to click and drag so you get the word edit and everything after it highlighted from Dragon. And once you do that, you want to then hit on the delete key or the backspace key on your keyboard. Because we don't want that part of the URL. And then you want to type in HTML view. So you're going to type in HTML view right after the final slash of the URL. And after that, you want to press the enter key on your keyboard. And this is going to take you to a HTML view of the Google Sheet. And we can click on each sheet of the spreadsheet and all of the data has been preserved, which is great. And it's even in like the same cell structure, which you may want if it's in a spreadsheet. So the next step is we want to right click on this web page and click on save as. Then we want to give a name to this HTML file that we're going to be downloading. So we'll call it sheets for youtube.html. The .html is really important. Your file does need to end with that. However, the rest of the name can be whatever you want. As for the save as type, it needs to be web page HTML only. If it's not web page HTML only, you need to change that. And to do so, you need to click on this drop down box here and then make sure web page HTML only is selected. If we do something like web page complete, it's going to download not just the HTML data that contains the data we want, it will also download some code. And part of that code is going to stop you from copying the data. But if it's HTML only, you're not gonna download that copy protection, which is exactly what you want if you want to copy the data. So make sure it's web page HTML only. So click on that and then click save. Once it's downloaded, you can either click on this little pop-up here to open up the sheet, or you can click on this folder here to view it in the Windows File Explorer, or you can navigate to it manually. I'm going to navigate to it in the Windows File Explorer, so I'm gonna click on the download button, then click on the folder button here, and there's the file that I downloaded. You can also navigate to this manually or just open it up straight away. But the next step is we do want to open up this HTML file. So you can either double click on it, or you can right click, go to open with, and then click on the web browser of your choice. I'm going to pick Google Chrome. And now we are in, a HTML view of this Google spreadsheet. And you might notice something. You can't see the lines of the cells. Like you can see the cell structure. It's still got the ABC and the numbers, but you can't see the lines. But we can access all of the data and it's still preserved in a cell-like structure. So what we're going to do is, we're going to go back to Google Drive and we're gonna click on new and we're going to make a new Google spreadsheet. And basically we want to copy some of that data over and preserve the same cell structure. So I'm gonna go back to super secret data and we're going to copy the first sheet. And what you want to do is you want to press control and A on the keyboard. So let's do control A and that will highlight everything. Then we want to right click and click on copy. Then we'll go back to our spreadsheet and then we're gonna click on this box here. So it'll be next to the A and the one. And after that, you'll right click and then click on paste. And what happens is all of the data has been copied over and it's preserved the cell-like structure. 
Now you're going to get some data you don't want. Like the super secret data and all of the sheet names you're going to get. So we can delete them. Your text might end up being bold. But you can change that easily by just dragging over the cells. And then clicking on this B button here for bold. But as you can see it's preserved the structure. Maybe you don't want the rows and columns letters and numbers to exist. And maybe you then want to move it to go into the corner which you can do so by cutting and pasting. But with very minimal effort, we were able to get the exact same data that originated from this view only Google Sheet into our own Google Sheet with the same cell structure. So let's make a new sh sheet on our new spreadsheet and copy over another one. So we'll copy over the top Kex one and we'll hit Control A on the keyboard again. Then we'll right click, click on copy Go to our untitled spreadsheet, click on this box up here, right click, click on paste, and we've done it again. Let's do it one more time, so we make a new sheet, we'll go back to our HTML file, we'll go to the IDK section, we'll hit Control A on the keyboard, it might be Command A on a Mac, we right click, click on copy, go back to the sheet, click up here, Right click, click on paste, we've done it again. So, thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. And thanks for watching this tutorial on how you can copy data from a view only protected Google spreadsheet that has many sheets. And I'll see you next time.